I pride myself on being able to come up with songs in a, in a flash. I usually, I say to people, give me a word and I'll give you a song. And I come up with something. Um, yeah, actually, give me a word and I'll, and I'll come up with something. See what we, what we get. Playground. Playground, play, come and play in the playground. Playground. Give me a, give me some, I'll do a rhyming one this time. Give me a, like a sentence. Watching a DVD at your house. Okay, here we go. Actually, put me on. Rodney's coming over to watch a DVD. Who's cooking dinner? Not me. <laughs> That's how it usually is when you come over, isn't it? I never cook. Switch me on. Um, I've strapped myself to the beast and I've been writing music and lyrics and um, I'm basically I've, I've come up with a concept for my new musical. And it's about the one and only Annabelle Dixon. <laughs> Annabelle's story is, is perfect for musical interpretation. Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle. I want to get to the truth of, of Annabelle, who she is, you know, how she became a drug addict. Um, cover the binge drinking, the, the, um, the sleeping around, the anorexia. Annabelle, you're a slut. So I can't, can't think of a better way to commemorate a student's life than to uh, write a musical about them. Annabelle Dixon, when girls take drugs and then they die. Thought it's summer high tide on days like these. It's a bummer high tide. There'll, there'll be a lot of media interest in in um, the story, of course. So, which means more audience, which means more money for the Gregson Performing Arts Centre. So we're all happy. She's a party girl with a bad habit, a bad habit for drugs. She's a slut and she knows it. She wants to root all the boys. She can't help taking the drugs on a Saturday night. Ecstasy. She's been sent by Ecstasy. an angel to give me an idea for a musical. Margaret's quietly confident, and she's, she's usually got a good eye for the next big thing, so she seems very pumped. My only issue was I wanted to be done tastefully and not to exploit her. We're on the same page with that then, Margaret. She can't help being a slut on a Saturday night. we can donate the proceeds to the family or, you know, youth charity. No, that's where you're wrong. We're going to put the money into the Performing Arts Centre, back into the, the drama department that she loves so much. Days like these, it's a bummer heights high. I've got a feeling this musical could be my finest bummer moment. Bummer heights high. That Annabelle died. I'm known around the school for having an above average sense of smell. So uh, I use my nose to control certain behaviours. I like to sniff the kids most mornings, just randomly in the corridors, checking for various odours, um, cigarette smoke, uh, graffiti pens, alcohol, um, cannabis, that sort of thing. Um, just, just identifying that, singling the kids out. I stand up. They're aware of it. Um, they become very nervous when they see me in the mornings. And you can always pick the guilty ones. But yes, it's just one of the good things about having a heightened sense. I was just saying to Rodney this morning, I unraveled the, um, the audition posters and I had an excitement quiver. I, 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 I get very excited about things and I do that. And it's normally uh, closer to production that I do it. It's just an involuntary thing that I get. I like to do what I call a psychological assessment. Any history of mental illness in the family? No. Does dad ever hit mum? No. At all. What I'm looking for mostly is can they handle the emotional strain of being in a show? Have you ever felt like cutting yourself? Cutting no. your arms or... If you had to choose below or above belly button, which direction would you head? You need to be fairly thick-skinned to be in a show like mine. So I do what I call a, a sensitivity test. You've got thighs like an elephant and you've got a face like a bloody horse. Who's going to want to pay to see you on stage? Who? Excellent. That was good. You handled that well. Please. I test the kids for hand-eye coordination. Open your eyes. Catch. Catch this. Missed it. I'm able to cull or weed out the kids who are just not right. Rejection can be tough, but the world is a tough place. Deal with it. Fool these days. You have to be a fool these days. This is phase one of the audition process. 
Um, it's a cattle call, if you like. I usually get pretty big numbers, so I, I like to use the gym. Get out. Aaron, I've booked the gym. Take it up with Margaret if you've got an issue. It's boys and pugs and sex and drugs. It's not like it used to be. Brilliant. There's no way to hide from teen suicide. Watch out for teen pregnancy. Good effort. It's the worst place in Australia where you can get anorexia. Not quite right. School these days. Don't want to go to school. Right hand thrust thrust. The dance routine right. that I've come up with is part of the nightclub scene. It's an important part of the production where Annabelle goes to the nightclub where she takes the fatal ecstasy pill. Get into it. So the moves are very, very much what the kids are doing these days. Spread your legs and up. Spread your legs. Caleb, more effort, please. I thought black people were supposed to have rhythm. Don't let your weight drag you down, please, sweetheart. What I'm looking for is, are you a triple threat? Do you have the ability to sing, dance, act? And do you have the look? Yeah, they didn't make it. Sorry. It's a no-go, I'm afraid. And unfortunately for some kids, they just don't have it. Let's chat and more stretching, please. I'm a party girl with a bad habit, bad habit for drugs. I'm a naughty girl with a bad habit. Um, the show's set in Summer Heights High, so there are a lot of characters who are um, familiar to, to us, um, a lot of teacher characters. My name is Mr G, three talents, one, two, three. Singing and dancing and acting is my life. We look at Mr G and his influence on Annabelle's life. I'm a teacher, that's for sure. In a world of crazy kids. Mr G is a, is a triple threat. He, he can sing, he can dance, he can act. Is there a kid out there that can do it? I hope so. At summer high time. When I look around this room, I see a lot of talent. Um, this is going to be an amazing show. That's why I wanted to tell you guys that you are not in my show. It's the other group. It's not you guys. You're not in it. <laughs> so that's, you can go. <laughs> You're not in it. It is a, a harsh reality that uh, show business is a hard business. You know, we don't all have what it takes. You can always try for stage crew. Didn't make it in, Toby. You're not in it. Okay. You're not in the show. You can go now. Okay. Go to class. And it's your dancing will let you down, really. Yeah. Hmm. I think for some kids, it's better that they know now than find out later in life that they've got no talent. I always say they'll thank me one day.